So this is Transit Connect episode number seven. I've got my helper today. Uh, if you was watching the last video, um, you know that I converted the front of the van to air suspension. And today we're gonna try and convert the back of the van to air suspension as well. But it's got leaf springs, so like all my videos, I don't know how we're gonna go about it. We're just gonna play it by ear. And if you're watching this, it works. And if you're not watching it then, then obviously it didn't work, so yeah. Okay, so the back of the van's got leaf springs, um, which are these things, and um, they obviously hold the whole weight of the van and stuff like that, but they also, as well as holding the weight of the van, rather than normal conventional coil springs, um, they also stop like this rear beam from sliding from side to side. So we're gonna have to do away with the rear beam. Uh, the rear beam? No, we're gonna have to do away with the rear leaf springs and make some sort of like a trailing arm that will just, maybe I'm gonna try and make it fit the standard shackle and then like, you know, go back to the beam and so the whole beam will like pivot off of like this point rather than actually be sprung off this. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how that works out. First things first, we're gonna um, strip one of the leaf springs off and then look for inspiration as we go. Cause we don't actually know what we're doing, do we, Jamie? I never know what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. Let's follow instruction. <laughs> Um, so what I've decided to do was um, I searched the net and I looked for a poly bush I could use and being a Powerflex supplier um, I bought these which look like these and that's the widest bush that I could find that will sort of just about fit um, in between the actual where the, the leaf spring sort of mounts on the body um, and then I had these sleeves machined up and uh, obviously these bushes then push nicely into the sleeve. Um, I had to, excuse the mess, I had to have um, the standard pin that pushes through the bush. I had to have it opened up um, so that I could actually get the bolt through. Um, and I had to have these washers made by a machinist. That stainless is still really nice. Just one to go either side of the bush, just to pack it out when it's in the car. So that's what I'm gonna do for the front bush. So the bush built up looks like that, um, all pushed together. We hole sawed the end of this pipe, um, so that fits snugly on there like that. So now all I've got to do is build this bush up with these washers either side in the van, but I can't do it one-handed, so I'll show you in a minute. And that's the bush all fitted. Um, so now, my lovely assistant Jamie, we're gonna weld that onto there and then obviously chop it down and weld that onto the beam. So no more leaf springs, more like of a, a pivoty type thing. Don't know what the technical word is, you know, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Let's see how it goes. So we, um, we put the bush up in the car, just put the bolt in loose just to hold it there. And then uh, we hold sawed like both ends of the box section. So it sits nice and flush on the beam. And uh, we had to trim the um, platform where the leaf spring sort of sits, but we'll hammer that back down afterwards and weld it on. But I'm actually quite impressed with that. In fact, we're both quite impressed with that, aren't we? Yeah. So now we've got to do is just spot it all into place, do exactly the same the other side. The, uh, this box section is like five mil thick. So um, we did it with a hole saw on the pillar drill and the hole saw took a bit of a beating, didn't it? Mm. We've got one more cut, so I'm hoping um, we'll be able to do it. But yeah, I'm quite, quite happy with how that worked out. God knows how it's actually gonna work, but meh. So um, we finished welding it all together, welded the, you know, the bush sleeve on the end, welded it all to the, uh, to the actual beam. Uh, I sort of tapped down the cup and we welded it up there as well. And we've done exactly the same the other side. It took ages to get all the measurements right, to get the wheels to sit like, you know, the same place both sides, but get in there, get in there slowly. So we, um, we cut some plate up and drilled some holes and bolted um, two bits of plate top and bottom of the airbag. And um, we're gonna try, and we don't quite know how yet, um, we're gonna try and like wedge it in between where the old bump stop would go move it around. We had to sort of do it at an angle like that so there's room to get onto the bolts because we could just put it on the platform but then we'd have to like 
hole saw through the back of the van so we can get onto the bolts and stuff like that and there's not a lot of room down there so just to keep it simple and hopefully it'll work we're literally just going to kick the bag over a little bit more and then um, just try and weld it to the chassis leg and then to the beam well that's the plan anyway so that's what's next That's as low as it's gonna go. I think this is gonna work, personally. Yeah, a bit more welding. So, not that you can see very well, um, but we welded the bottom plate to the um, beam and the top plate, obviously, to the chassis leg. Giving it a little quick coat in satin black or matte black. Painted all the little trailing arm things we made. So now all we've gotta do is just bolt it all together and run some lines. Oh, this is so gonna work. This is gonna work great. So the airbag's all fitted. Uh, I connected a 3.8 line fitting into the top of it and just run the line down up away from the exhaust as best as I could to the other side of the car where it tees into the airbag on that side. Um, I'm gonna have to downgrade this to um, a quarter inch fitting because of the control thing that I fitted in the last video. It only runs quarter inch hose. Um, but for now, I've got no quarter inch hose in stock so I've had to use 3.8. So, um, just gotta put the wheels back on now and then have a play. So, uh, this is the van in its highest position. And that's the van in its lowest position. Sorry for the crap camera angle, it's kind of hard to, you know, balance my phone on the floor. So that is the end of episode number seven. I am absolutely shattered. In the next video, I'm going to convert the 3.8 lines at the back of the van to quarter inch. Um, and then I'm going to connect it all up to the little paddle controller thing that I installed a little while ago. Um, I still need a compressor in the van as well because I keep using the airline from work to like pump it up and just to muck about with it and stuff. So I can't actually use the air suspension out and about on the road. Well, I can. I can let it down, but then I can't pump it back up. So, you know, I know I'll just end up getting stuck somewhere so I don't actually like play with it when I'm out and about. Um, and then once I've done the compressor, I will then, promise you, I will then crack on with fitting the turbo conversion like I've been saying I will do in the last god knows how many videos so that's definitely definitely still going to happen still on the to-do list but my to-do list is just really really long and now i'm just shattered i've been here all day i'm gonna go nando's i think and then i'm gonna go home and go to bed so i hope you like this video and um, please share it please subscribe to my channel um, if you want to see more videos or if anything you want me to do to the van just let me know and maybe we can you know work something out thanks